today we are going to discuss the concept is uh, module pool programming okay just one second okay so here today uh, we are going to discuss the concept is module pool programming okay actually <clears throat> actually see here what is the main purpose of the module pool programming what is the what is the main purpose okay what is the main purpose what is the main purpose of the module pool programming okay see here mpp mpp is nothing but say module pool programming module pool programming okay mpp is nothing but say module pool programming what is the main purpose of the module pool programming for what purpose we think are going to use the module pool programming actually to design the our own sap screens to design to design our own okay to design our own sap screens our own sap screens means what uh, custom sap screens to design our own sap custom screens to design one uh, to design our own sap screens means what uh, so custom sap screens okay custom sap screens okay and uh, see here and see here see actually sometimes some for example i will tell you Yeah, for example, it, you can see here, this is a vendor creation screen. Okay, actually, this is what? This is a vendor creation screen. This is a vendor creation screen. Actually, who designed and developed this vendor creation screen? SAP Labs. SAP Labs. SAP Labs designed, okay, SAP Labs, designed and developed this SAP screen. For example, I have a client, okay? I have a client. Okay, I have a client, for example, I have a client, LNT. Okay, this is my client. Under this client, I'm working. Under this client, I'm working. See, this client asked me, Anil Krishna, you please try to, you please, you please try to create the vendor creation screen. Okay, you please try to create the vendor creation screen. Okay, then what I did, uh, as per my client requirement, as per my client requirement, uh, okay, as per my client requirement, I checked the existing vendor creation screen. I just check the existing vendor creation screen as per my client requirement. When I check, okay, when I check, okay, as per my client requirement, I check the existing vendor creation screen. When I check, if this screen is matched, then I can directly allocate this screen to my client. Then the requirement will finish. That's okay. But now, when I checked this vendor creation screen, when I checked this vendor creation screen, this screen was not perfectly matched. This screen was not perfectly matched. Okay. This screen was, okay. This screen was not perfectly matched. Okay, got the point? Actually, this screen was not perfectly matched. Okay. So that's why what I will do, 
I need to design the screen. Okay, I need to see when I see here, actually, this screen. Okay. Actually, this screen was not perfectly matched. Okay. This screen was not perfect. This screen was not perfectly matched. If it matches, if it matches, then I can provide. But it was not matched. When it was not matched, then what I need to do? I need to create. I need to create own SAP. I need to create the custom screen. Custom screen means what? Uh, our own SAP screen. We need to create to complete the client requirement. So how we people can create the SAP screens in a BAP? How means yes? How means uh, yes? Then say see here. How we people can complete means uh, there is a concept of uh, MPP that means called module pool programming. Okay, MPP that means called module pool programming. Actually, in reports, a small question: How many how many events we have in the reports? Can you please send all send the message? How many events we have in the reports? So you see, I'm asking three or four, not count. Can you type it? How many how many screens we have? Please type it. How many screen, how many <coughs> events we have in reports? Please type all the people. <coughs> okay. See here in reports we have the